two, come back. Come back. So, that'll Good. be all the daily contact we're having for today. Yeah. Human to human. Oh my god. Just putting the mask up. Welcome to Taiwan. Yeah, welcome to Taiwan. Time for some milk tea. If you have seen our previous video, you will know that we have left India um, and come to Taiwan as we think this is one of the safest places in Asia to be right now. Yep. We are currently under a 14-day mandatory home quarantine in uh, in Taipei in Taiwan. We have to be home quarantined because that is a measure that yeah. was introduced by the Taiwanese government. Not because we have any symptoms of the coronavirus. We're perfectly healthy, so please don't worry about us. This is just a precautionary measure. Everybody who, who entered um, Taiwan at a certain point had to undergo a 14-day mandatory home, home quarantine. quarantine. If you're coming from certain countries <coughs> which uh, yeah. Taiwan considers to be at risk, high risk for uh, being conta contagious for coronavirus, Today is uh, day five of our home quarantine. We've been here for four days now. After today, we have nine more days to go. And the purpose of this video is just to fill you in on how life is for us at the moment. In our little apartment, I can tell you, we're very safe. No human to human contact, social distancing to the max. And we just want to let it's you know- It's awfully close to. Yeah, social distancing outside just the two of us. Yeah, we're not allowed outside of this door. No. We haven't had any real human contact. The, the last, only people last we see days. are the Uber Eats delivery yeah. people. I'm going to show you our nice little room here. Well, room, it's like a studio apartment. Got a few uh, nooks and crannies to it. So this is our main living area. Right here, we have the couch. Hey, I actually noticed just now that you can also fold it down to a bed. Really? Yeah, so. We could also turn into a bed. Here we have what we call the day bed. It's where we spend most of the time during the day. It's the second bed that we have. Uh, we use it uh, for daytime activities. We we watch some movies, we do some research. Because we don't have a table or anything. We just have several beds. Yeah, we just have several beds, no table. Um, yeah, so here's where we do most of our editing. Then, continuing onwards, we have a big screen TV, which we're really grateful for. We've been watching a bunch of Netflix. Currently we're watching Homeland, a bit of an older series, we never watched it before, so really nice. And uh, yeah, good big TV with decent sounds. Here we have our fridge. Which currently? Which if you would have to survive on the contents of the fridge, your survival rate would be practically zero. I guess we didn't order any, let's say, groceries yet. Uh, for the past few days we have been eating, ordering mostly on Uber Eats, but we're gonna solve that today. And then, the next room, please step into the room. Wait a bit. You have to open the door. Mm -hmm. Next room is our little kitchen here, the kitchen area. Uh, we have a microwave. Uh, we recently got also this uh, stove top. Uh, it wasn't here. We asked our host where we could cook some food, and he was kind enough to buy us this small little stove top, a pot, and there's a pan here somewhere too. If you take a small step towards this side, the kitchen becomes the grooming area where I try to comb my hair every day, but it's not really successful as you can see. No one's gonna believe it that you actually comb your hair. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we actually have some things to put our toothbrush in here. We haven't put our toothbrush down somewhere for over a year, so it's kind of a novelty for us. Oh, it was lighter actually. Might have been easier. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next room. The tiniest room in the house. Bathroom. Ta -da! And we have the bathroom with uh, Taiwanese toilet, just a regular toilet though. Hot water shower, and that's basically it. It's small, but it does the trick. So next to the day bed and our main living area, we have this small little space here. This is the stairs leading up to the night bed, the other bed. The master have. bedroom. The master bedroom, if you will. The only table in the apartment, which I think you can say is kitty size and also the only plant in the apartment. Now we have been here for a full four days and I do have to say we've had some arguments about how much water we should be giving to this plant, but so far it has been thriving. There is a closet here as well, um, which we haven't really used. We've gone more for the dressing concept, so we have put all of our clothes here. We've unpacked pretty much everything we have for the first time in 14 months. We didn't even do that when we were at home during the summer. On to the next floor, the second level, the patio, the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom, the night bed as we call it. Uh, so we have two double beds here and 
apparently the couch also turns a bed. You could theoretically sleep five people here. I would want to be stuck with five people here for 14 days though, so. And here is where we sleep. But it's kind of nice to have two beds because then you have this one. It's like a bedroom and then you can go downstairs and then you still have like a living area separate from your bedroom. At least some variation in your daytime because otherwise you're just stuck in the same bed for 14 days. I mean, that would make it more difficult. I think this floor was also built for the same kind of people who use those tables downstairs. <laughs> but yeah, you got the... Pretty nice panoramic view of the whole apartment here. If you look there off into the distance, you can see the day bed. So this whole home quarantine thing, they take it pretty seriously in Taiwan, rightly so, I think. It keeps yeah. their citizens safe and I think it's a very good idea. If you are under home quarantine and you breach it, you're in for some really big trouble. Yeah. I think the fine is up to 10,000 US dollars per person. <laughs> So if we so much as go outside to get some groceries or get a coffee right around the corner, they will know because we will probably bring this with us. Yeah, um, they track your phone, so they register your phone number when you get into the country. And then also the first day of our quarantine, like the next day, um, when we arrived in the country, a police officer came here to check on us, uh, see if we were fine, also to check if our phones were working, what the number was and all that stuff. And that phone is now registered as a person being under quarantine. So if you take this phone and go outside, they will immediately know. And as for the masks that we wear, you may have noticed in our previous videos in India and stuff, we never usually wear masks. The only reason we do that here is because the Taiwan government requires us to do so whenever we come in contact with someone else during the quarantine, because yep. they think maybe we're infected since we came from a high risk country. It's time for our daily or it's actually twice daily temperature check. The government requires us to measure our own temperature two times a day to see if you're not developing any fever. If you have a fever, which is defined as a body temperature over 38 degrees, uh, then you should call the number that's on the form right here and they will send a doctor to check up on you and they'll probably take you to a government quarantine facility or a hospital uh, to separate you from other people to prevent you from infecting more people and to make sure that you're medically followed up as you uh, because you have the illness and they will test you as well. These are the forms we have to fill out. You have to fill out all your symptoms, whether, you, whether or not you have symptoms. So yeah, it's a pretty thorough procedure, I would say. Oh my God, it's beeping. I'm gonna die. So my body term temperature is 36.22 degrees. I think we can take the 0.22 with a grain of salt. It's 36.2, so it's- Well uh, in the clear. Well in the clear. And we even have a lot, and I do mean, a lot of tissues. This is about half the stash. We found tissues in pretty much every yeah. cupboard of the of the kitchen as well. I so. think probably I saw that in Europe a lot of people are hamstring. <laughs> hamstring, hamstring toilet paper. Hamstring toilet paper. It's not an English word, but it's a Dutch hoarding, word. Hoarding. Hoarding. Hoarding, but I prefer hamstring because it's such a funny word. Yeah. Hoarding. They were yeah. not taking hamsters to the supermarket no. to get toilet paper. That may be what it sounds like, but, but hamstering I, I, is I, like... I feel we should introduce hamstring into the English language as well. No. So that people are at home are actually hamstring toilet paper. Like all the stores in Belgium, there's not a single piece of toilet paper left. So, I mean, it's just crazy people. Well, they do <laughs> restock it, but yeah, people go no, wild. Nothing left, Kim. Nothing left. I verified all the stores. We can go back now. Since you're not allowed to go outside even to buy groceries, you have to make sure you don't starve. Yeah. Um, now, we have some reserves. I mean, I don't think that's a real risk of happening to us like right no. now, but still, um, so far we've gotten by mostly on Uber Eats since we didn't have a stove top from the first day. Yeah. And then we didn't get groceries right away. So by now we have found a website that should allow us to have groceries delivered right here to our doorstep. Yes, indeed. And we're gonna look at that right now. I did some research online where you could order some food and apparently there's a brand of chains, grocery chains called Carrefour, which we also have in Belgium, it's a French chain. They've got a pretty good range of products that they offer and probably since it's a chain that we know, they will have some products at least that we know. We managed to get it in English language, uh, lots of the promotions and stuff is still in Chinese, but at least the menus are in English now, so. Oh, no, is it in Chinese again? 
English, okay, so we have frozen foods, beverages and snacks, pantry, personal care, baby and mom. I personally don't think we need to buy a baby at this point in time. <laughs> I mean, we're in quarantine, we can't go outside. It's not really the best situation to start buying babies here. So. <laughs> Bedding, I think we have enough beds as it is already. Okay, so let's just go for food and some drinks. See if we can find some good vegetables right here. It seems that the first available slot to deliver is on the 26th, it's now the 23rd. It's like three days just to deliver, deliver some groceries to our door. So maybe we're just gonna have to order a little bit already on Panda, which is another app where you can order food here. It sucks a little bit because we just spent over an hour browsing the website, which is not completely straightforward. A lot of products have only Chinese characters in the description. At least we're gonna be able to order some food somehow. That's the most important thing right now, I guess. On oh, Food Panda, which is also an app, you also can order True Carrefour and they deliver it within 45 minutes. So somehow through this app, it's also free delivery and they are able to bring it to you in 45 minutes we instead hope, of three we days. Hope it does. Or we hope at least. Today at 9 9.15, so that's in two hours. Whoop whoop! It took us a while to sort out all this grocery stuff. All in all, it took several hours. Yeah, we know. Anyway, we're now waiting for the next two hours to for our delivery. Um, we had some lunch. We but had some lunch. But pretty hungry by now. Yeah, we're, we're getting hungry now. So we ordered some braids as well. I mean, we did our best, like to start ordering at a decent time. We started pretty early in the afternoon, but we, yeah, it took just a really long time. Yeah. Food has just arrived. Strangely enough, we ordered some Vietnamese food while I'm we were in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fogging up, I'm literally fogging up my sunglasses because now the air is coming out of the mask and like underneath the sunglasses, I can't see anything, so you're gonna have to... <laughs> how, how are you planning on eating with the mask? I'm gonna take it off, take ah, it off, ah, open the door. Okay. We're putting these sunglasses on because otherwise our eyes may be oversensitive because there is a huge amount of light in here. Yeah. Now that it's dark, we have had to switch on the light bulb. Yep. Not used to that anymore because obviously we don't see sunlight anymore. And yeah, like this, we've got this vacation feel going as well, so... Yeah. It doesn't feel like we're in quarantine, like we're traveling to our... Uh, to couch fill. <gasps> These are warm. You think they heated? No, it's probably because they were next to the hot. No, they heated them up. They put them in the oven for half an hour before they uh, brought them to us. Here you go. Watch out, it's very hot. Can you guess what we're having if it's Vietnamese? Beef pho. You have to pour it into this bowl because the beef is in here. Problem is, it's pretty big bag. It's very full and it's very, very hot. I think that's actually going reasonably well. You can do mine too. As you can see, we've come off the day bed here. It was time. On to the Couchville neighborhood. Anyway, later today we're gonna <laughs> visit Bed Top Mountain. It's like Tabletop Mountain, but then Bed Top Mountain. It's up there. It's right up there. We did it, a hike there yesterday. It's pretty far, you can see. We might not both make it, but as long as I make it, it's fine. And I have to take off this mask. I don't wanna break it. It's the only one we have. <laughs> Mm, that is good. It tastes like it tastes like proper before. Hello, thank you. Excuse me. The guy <laughs> looked very scared when he opened the door. He looked scared. Yeah. Oh no! When he saw me, he like quickly put his face mask on. He was like a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably thought I was like some kind of special quarantine or, or something. Or some some kind of robber ordering groceries. <laughs> yeah. Also, sorry if he scared the guy, but. It was pretty funny though. <laughs> so all of our groceries have arrived. Well, at least we think so. I mean, the orders have come in. We're not sure if everything is in there. But it seems like everything has arrived and we can uh, we have some food for at least two, three days. I still can't believe you scared him. Yeah, he looked look like poor guy oh that's he didn't, i think i don't think he had his face mask on but like when he saw me like putting his face mask on <laughs> like going like this. all of our groceries going to fit into here <laughs> all vegetables 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 more vegetables the biggest piece of ginger you have ever seen in your life we have that too some onions the fridge is well packed we hope you enjoyed this video and yep. us showing you around in our little home quarantine or new life for the next couple of weeks, for the next yep. 10 days. 
If you like this video, please leave a big thumbs up um, and subscribe if you want to see the next videos. We will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.